April 11, 2002, death came to my life. 18-year-old boy was shot in his head. His father came to my office. It was a spark that made me understand that I have to get out of my comfort zone as a lawyer, as a, as a father. In my country, 53 people are killed each day. Just from 1999 to 2011, there were 130,000 people killed in Venezuela. What is happening? So we, we, this is death as a way of life. And this is something that is happening not just in Venezuela. It happened in Honduras, El Salvador, Mexico, Brazil. After more than 400 cases that I have attended of political violence, crime, and human rights abuse, I asked myself why death came to my life. And I realized that I was a corporative lawyer in that comfort zone, I said. And because of death, I became a human rights activist. And as a human rights activist, I'm talking to you today. So I had this opportunity to be the voice of those who cannot speak. But not just to be the voice of those who cannot speak, is to promote or to transform death into life. We have to promote respect, actually honored respect and honored life. 